Dow Jones and Nasdaq, both with the market open this week, have been trading bullish. And now, though yes, it failed to break past 32100. We have seen Dow is going close to 32100, and then US 100 too has uh, in fact shied away from 31600, 660 levels in between this zone. We are facing a little resistance there. So now, what to expect today? Can we expect a drop from here again, or we can expect a reversal? And if yes, which position you should take in order to profit? We will see with the help of charts and indicators. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Do not forget to press the bell icon. This is the first update for the day. The next update will be released before the US session. Do watch that also precisely 11 hours of, from now. Let's start. In this analysis, first we we'll look into Tech 100 followed with Dow Jones. Watch till the end. Listen to it carefully. Note down the levels. Trade as per the levels here. And let's have a look at the early charts first. Now see on the early charts, US 100 traded with divergence from the 20 million moving average and now trying to trade below it. Definitely, as I said, 12,500, 12,480 levels are very, very good support. And this we, had seen, this we had seen last week also. And here also, I will recommend you to sell at 12,520, but then expect 12,500, 12,480 levels and below that it is going to drop heavily. Now see, if you look at the market open today, we had seen a good gap. It may try to fill the gap and I'll see how it behaves after filling the gap. And hence, till 12, 480, 450 levels, be watchful there. Now see, the stochastic has dropped a bit. The MACD is still divergent and bearish, though it is still at a, you know, you can say near zero levels and hence it can reverse very, very strong if it crosses over on the upside. RSI has dropped. It is trading flat. Now look at the 2 hour chart. On the 2 hour charts to see the, the gap it is trying to fill at 12,520, possibly below 12,520, we can expect little more bearishness for 12,500, 12,480 and then 12,450 and if it breaks 12,450, certainly more bearishness will prevail. The stock stick is trying to recover, the MACD is still divergent, bearish looking down. See this crossover has happened at little higher levels and hence it can stress the drop for a little while and hence few more red candles can be expected. RSI after trading overbought now has cooled down a bit and had come to comfortable levels. And if you look at 3R chart, now similarly on the 3R chart, see uh, once again 12,620 levels and uh, 12,600 levels giving it a very very good resistance. This is something you should watch out for. And if you look at the stock stick, this is trying to recover. The MACD interestingly has crossed over trading with slight divergence and this crossover is happening at a very very higher level. Hence can indicating that it may try to get a pullback here also. So NASDAQ 100, something, this is something which you should be cautious of. RSI was overbought and now looking down. And if you look at 4R chart, this is the second red candle. Higher lows are seen, higher highs are seen. Hence, yes, 12.5 you can sell and 12.620 you can buy for this 100 points. Do not trade below 12.520, 12.500, 12.480 uh, 12, and 12.450. These three levels you should note out for. And then I will look forward for it to achieve and attain 12.300 levels. The stronger support there on the downside. See, stock stick here has seen a drop and now trying to recover a bit. The MACD on the 3R charts is now converging and trying to cross over, willing to cross over. Now, beautifully, it has been trading like this. It can retrace a bit on the downside. However, do not consider this as bearish still. RSI is also looking down, trying to show slight bearishness. Now, look at daily charts. Now see on the daily charts after staying bullish here it is retraced and then this reversal or a breakout and now it is trying to retrace a little here. Now do not consider this as bearish I am telling you again till 12200 and 12000 in fact 11800 levels. Now see on the daily charts you can see the uh, weekend candles it is consolidated now trying to give a breakout and hence it can try to stress the drop for a little while however till 12,300 should be a very very good support and there is a possibility that it can drop till here. Now see the stock I think was overbought trying to look down may cool a bit. The MACD is still divergent it's still bullish but see the candle size is almost flattened here. So possibly it may start to converge the RSI is almost trading flat here. Considering this for the day do not sell till 12520 do not buy till 12620 for this 100 points stay cautious and watchful 
and on the downside specifically 12450 first stronger support there no 12500 12480 are two levels you should watch out for below that 12450 and 400 something you should watch and below 12400 we are going to see a good draw for 12300 levels there with the next strongest support and below that is sky is the limit anyways but on the upside yes you can buy at 12620 this time i will wait for it to break past 12660 levels and if it does 12720 12800 are the next and then 13000 levels will be seen very very soon take your trades accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss now let's have a look at dow jones and yes if you want to learn the art of trading you should join my mentorship batch the 20th batch starts today on 28th of march and the next batch dates are also getting announced reserve your seat now itself reach out to me for more details my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description now look dow jones on the early charts first it has got very very stronger support at 31 800 now with that a support it is try to reverse however now see this is still a retracement not a reversal if and only if it breaks past 32 100 we can expect further bullishness and then 32 250 levels 300 levels you should watch out for if it breaks out certainly more bullishness is confirmed also if you look at early charts see the behavior was first base second base third base higher bases are created and higher highs are getting achieved so this is still to be considered bullish and trading in this chart hence once 32 300 are taken so certainly it is going to fly high more stochastic is seen dropping the MACD is seen converging crossing over the rsi is almost flat and if you look at two hour charts similar is the observation on the two hour charts here too now if you look at the macd here is trying to converge crossover rsi trying to trade flat and if you look at three hour charts now look closely on the three hour charts see these two candles lower highs lower lows first breakout candle this is the second candle hence there could be a candle which may give for the breakout till towards 30 to 200 levels the stochastic is at bottom the macd is still slightly bearish the rsi is looking down showing a little loss of strength there now look at the four hour charts and look at the behavior there see drop consolidation drop now again trying to consolidate hence you should watch out for 30 to 100 to be breezed and then for the day little more bullishness can be expected if it stays above 30 to 100 levels now also if you look at the four hour charts closely yes there was slight gap and see these two candles consolidation then this breakout it is trying to stay bullish yes only sell entry i will recommend is below 31900 and then only bearishness is confirmed below 31800 levels till that time we have to strictly trade with the trailing stop loss and then below that every 100 points till 31500 400 we can expect a good support see the uh, us 30 you can see the lower channel support today is at 31800 850 levels now also one must observe that it is trying to reverse a bit and hence breaking beyond 32,050 you can stay long for 32,100 and then only if it breaks past 32,100 more bullishness is confirmed we might see 32,400, 500 very very soon. Stock is at bottom and it is trying to recover. MACD is in green but trading with very little divergence. If it crosses over it is going to bring more bearishness here rsi is almost trading flat without any indication there now look at the daily charts now see on the daily charts one must observe that it is consolidated here at the bottom for a while yes it is also expanded the bollinger bands on the downside which may uh, if it breaks out this is going to be a bigger breakout and we may see a very sharp drop and at the same time a breakout above 30 to 500 will bring more bullishness there taking it for 30 to 800 33000 levels in the near future the stochastic is dropping there the macd is bearish trying to converge the rsi is almost trying to trade flat here also let's have a look at the weekly charts it might show us some picture here now see as i said in the weekly charts that the previous candle was of indecision this might also we have to wait for it to break past the previous highs such that uh, 30 to 500 600 how it behaves and probably a reversal from there cannot be denied the stochastic is oversold the macd is divergent and bearish it is looking down and if you look at the rsi this is almost trading flat considering this for the day 31 900 i will recommend you to sell and 32 050 i will recommend you to buy above 32 05 
थर्टी टू वन हंड्रेड शुड यू लुक फॉर एंड देन थर्टी टू टू फिफ्टी एंड देन थर्टी टू फोर हंड्रेड फाइव हंड्रेड लेवल्स विल कम इन टू पिक्चर थर्टी टू फोर हंड्रेड फाइव हंड्रेड सिक्स हंड्रेड दीज थ्री लेवल्स यू शुड वॉच आउट फॉर मोर क्लोजली ऑन द डाउन साइड आई एल रिकमेंड यू टू सेल एट थर्टी वन नाइन हंड्रेड हाउ एवर वेट फॉर इट टू ब्रेक पास थर्टी वन एट हंड्रेड द नेक्स्ट स्ट्रॉगेस्ट सपोर्ट इज स्टेंग बिलो थर्टी वन एट हंड्रेड मे कॉल फॉर फॉर द बेरिश ने स्टेक इट टिल टू वर्स थर्टी वन एट हंड्रेड थर्टी वन सेवन हंड्रेड एंड इनफैक्ट थर्टी वन फाइव हंड्रेड लेवल्स टेक योर ट्रेड्स अकॉर्डिंगली ट्रेड विद स्टॉप लॉस ट्रेड विद ट्रेलिंग स्टॉप लॉस डो नॉट फर्गेट टू लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब एंड कमेंट जॉइन माई मेंटरशिप बैच एंड सिग्नल चैनल रीच आउट टू मी फॉर मोर डिटेल्स माई टेलीग्राम एंड ई मेल आई डी मैंशन इन द चैनल एंड वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन थैंक यू वेरी मच है ग्रेट प्रॉफिटेबल ट्रेडिंग डे है थैंक यू